Okay, question 4.4. Using the fish, fish age versus fish length data set, predict the length of a fish that is 100 days old using Excel or otherwise. Okay, so let me get that data set again. Uh, okay, that was the brain weight one. I don't want that one. Wait for the tabs to show up down the bottom. All right, so fish age. Where is that? Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, so um, this is this is really simple. I'm just going to do. Let me just check the units here. I'm going to do with it the length of the fish is 100 days old. Okay, so this one's really easy. I'm just going to do insert um, chart. Okay, there you go, and that looks pretty linear to me. Then I'm going to go to customize, series, trend line, and yeah, it's already on linear. Let's put the equation on it. So there's my mx plus c. So if I put an x of 100 in there, let's do that. I'm going to do 0.398 times 100 equals that plus 1.91 gives me a length of 41.7 which is which looks about right doesn't it 41.7 there you go okay now in the second part of this question um, I ask you to calculate uh, your gradient and set with a cal calculator okay now that's a bit of a that's a bit of a hangover from what we we've done previously um, in that we've given you uh, written assignments, written, written closed book assignments, um, where you have you can't access a computer, so you'd have to do something like that with a calculator. Now times have changed, so we don't need to do that anymore. Um, so if you're interested, now there is a way to do exactly what you just did on your calculator. It involves typing, it involves typing all of the values in, and it's not terribly practical to be honest. So um, I'm going to be satisfied if you can do that on Google Sheets or Excel alone. Okay. Right, let's go here. 